<laughs> hello hello welcome to little legs tarot hi my name is linda if you're new welcome if you're returning what's up i'm glad that you're back okay um today this reading is gonna be for my sages so you can have sagittarius anywhere in your chart sun moon rising venus north node south node place of where it needs to go or you could be um cross watching for a sag okay so um listen sag for some of you, you guys have like a best friend around y'all. Oh, okay, hold on. Before I dive into that. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. As you guys come in, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for all your guys' donations. That's also greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, and thank you for all the love and the kind words. All right, let me get into this. So you guys could have a best friend here, okay? Um, that's really negative. And if this isn't a best friend, this is just someone who's constantly around you. You need to cut this person off. And the reason I'm looking over here is because these cards are here, right here. Best friend. Best friend. Okay? Somebody here could have a best friend here. I feel like your best friend here could be um, betraying you in some way. They could be a part of some sort of group to keep an eye on you or to handle you or something like that. Get information on you. Okay? Um, I also was getting something about losing pens. You guys could be noticing that you're losing a lot of your pens. Like, whenever you're trying to find a pen to write something down, like, you can't find it. It's like, what the heck? You could have bought, like, a bunch of, like, pens and they're just gone, okay? Or this is something that's happening to you at the workplace. You're noticing that a lot of people are, like, starting to, like, take your pens. Something about pens, all right? Um, what else? Oh, also, while I was sitting here, like, prepping, um... My cat, Bosch, <laughs> got up into my closet. I have like a shelf in my closet and I store like this suitcase that I have. And the whole suitcase fell down because um, Bosch was playing up there. Uh, I feel like some of you might be taking some sort of um, unexpected trip soon. Okay. I got something about like the Florida Keys. Or something about going overseas. Or something about Kiwis. I know that all rhymed, but something like that is significant. Maybe you're going somewhere tropical. Unexpected. Or you are from a tropical place. Or you live by a sea. I don't know. Something like that is significant. I also got something about, um, or I heard lights, camera, action. When I turned on my little lights. So, um, some of you could already be in the spotlight that I'm talking to, or you're about to be, or the spotlight is on you, or you have a lot of people that are watching you or something. But I don't, I feel like it may be not, not all of them have like the best intention, okay, for watching you. I'm also getting something about like, okay, now I'm getting... Uh, give them something to talk about. How about love? Okay, so something, something about that is significant. Like, give them a show if they're watching you. I don't know. Or someone's about to find their true love up in this beach, okay? Um, I also got something about a blink camera. Some of you can own a blink camera. Or you need to check your blink camera, okay? Somebody's initials could be um, N, F, G, R, Z, L, and K. Um, I got three names in specific. was Robert, Zach, and Kim. Okay. I've been seeing Kim's name everywhere. I always... I've seen... I've been seeing the, the name Kim for the longest. Like, ever since, like, last year. I've been seeing this name. But it's popping up again. Someone here um, could be born in 1974. Or something about the year 1974 is significant for you. <sighs> Someone here could be anywhere from 18 to 35 years old. I'm also getting, there could have been something that happened when you were in fifth grade. You keep getting reminded of this. I don't know what this is about. How old are you when you're in fifth grade? 10? No. Yeah? 10, 9, something like that, okay? Um, I also got something about 
There's gonna someone someone's gonna find out something true about someone's biology. Okay. Um maybe you're gonna find something out about your own biology. Or there's someone here that is oh okay, someone here could have um recently or is about to discover that there's someone that they're dealing with and they are gonna their true biology is gonna be made aware to them. So you guys could be dealing with someone who's representing themselves as, or they present themselves as female, but their biology is male or vice versa. You're dealing with a male, but their biology is female. Place it where it needs to go, okay? Um, and then I got something about, uh, A BMW or some sort of like it doesn't have to be a BMW it could just mean like someone here has a luxury vehicle or a German made vehicle or someone here is from Germany okay about a week ago okay so okay hold on the 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 okay okay Okay, so something something significant about something happening a week ago, or someone did something to you a week ago, maybe they're in regret about this, or someone's going to tell you something that they should have told you a week ago, okay? Someone here could be from New York. Someone here could be a drug dealer. Someone here could be a, a tweaker or something. You guys could be seeing the angels no the angel numbers um 1111 11, 333 111 or 1133. If you're seeing the angel number 1133 um this is like a sign of you having a great future ahead of you. I advise you guys to look up these angel numbers yourself as well, okay? It just hits different. It hits different when you research your own stuff, okay? Instead of it just being told to you. Okay, I'm also getting like, you guys are being, um, you guys are being encouraged to focus on yourself right now, okay? So I feel like with that being said, there's somebody here who wants to come in and try to distract you or try to um, avert your focus from yourself to them, okay? So someone might come here and ask you for help. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing a song. When I move, it's an earthquake rumble. Da 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 da, da never stumble. Da da, da 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 da. Okay. Um, who freaking sings that? Never fall, never stumble. And I don't need to be humble. Break down walls, Jericho. Okay. Oh, I don't remember this girl's name. The name, something about Jericho. Okay, so, okay. Someone here could feel like, okay. Someone could feel like you, you're feeling yourself too much or something. Someone feels like they want to come in and humble you somehow, or they want to bring you down in some way. I'm also getting, this person does know you're on the edge of glory or you're on the edge of getting something good into your life. I'm sorry. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what are they in here? We have creator of happiness. It says, I reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness. It is not dependent on, on any outside source or individual. Therefore, I cannot be it cannot be taken away. I can always 
it can always be found within me. So someone here wants to um, strip your happiness from you. Okay, you could be you could be smiling right now. You could be feeling good. You could be at peace right now. Um, and someone sees this and they want to stop it. Okay. I'm also getting if you're feeling sad or down right now, you need to know that happiness is a choice. You can you can shake that off. You can shake off that stagnant feeling. You can shake off that um, negative feeling by moving your body, getting your blood moving. Okay. And changing your mindset. You could practice um, with affirmations to help you with this, okay? Say them in the early morning as you wake up and as you go to bed. We have edge of greatness. We have the universe is opening doors for me. It says bringing opportunities my way. I don't crumble. What the fuck is going on? I don't crumble at the edge of my greatness. I take the opportunities that come and walk through the doors with confidence. Okay, Holy Spirit is speaking today. Somebody wants your foundation to crumble. Somebody wants to watch you crumble. This is sad. Maybe this is someone you've known since fifth grade. This could be a family member. Okay. This could be a friend that you've known since fifth grade. Someone close. We have personal journey. It says, I follow what feels right within me without needing val validation from others. We are each on our own journey and mine does not need to look like anyone else's my enjoyment and satisfaction is validation enough so whoever these this person is maybe you you were at one point wanting validation from your friends or your family or whoever these people are that you grew up with i feel like now that you ventured off okay with your own little backpack <laughs> all right and learn to focus on yourself know yourself heal yourself these people got a problem with it okay yeah look we got morning rituals at the bottom of the deck it says in the mornings i will take time to tune in to myself to set high vibrational rituals that will help me lead a good day i pay attention to the morning habits that don't serve me and i change them for ones that do so some of you could be um being guided right now to change your morning routine Okay, so you can set the tone for the rest of the day or how the rest of the day will go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what are my sides need to know? Yes, yeah, you could be dealing with someone here who's stuck in their south node or they're refusing to change, they're refusing to heal. You could be dealing with someone who's very toxic or they want to stay in toxicity. There's someone here that definitely wants to bring trouble your way. And they're very anxious about what your future holds. So someone here could be getting readings on you, okay, to find out what that is. Um, yeah, there's some sort of unexpected change that's going to be happening for you with this Uranus here. Something here is going to be changing. Tell me more. I'm also getting, like, you guys could be being met with, like, a lot of things being, like, removed or changed in your life. Um, but it's for your highest good, okay? Can you tell me more? Thank you. Yeah, we have the philosophies and laws involved. It says, do it in a big way. So you're being guided to do something in a big way. Maybe you could be scared because you want to be looked at different. And someone feels like um, you definitely, someone knows that you're definitely tapped in, okay? You guys could be seeing a lot of hot air balloons or you guys could be dealing with an air sign or you have air somewhere in your chart. Yeah, we have service to others. Something about doing something for the greater good. Something like that is significant. What zodiac signs are they dealing with? You guys could be dealing with a Pisces or you could have Pisces somewhere in your chart. Okay. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus or someone who has Taurus somewhere in their chart. Tell me more. You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. 
tell me more for what. <laughs> they don't want to talk. Thank you. And then we have Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or you're a Capricorn um, Sagittarius cusp. Okay. Yeah, and then we got you, Saggy. Or you could be dealing with another Sag. Okay? Okay. If you've already put up boundaries with this person, this person wants you to let your guard down or something. Yeah, I could be talking to an empress. Someone's very scared of your abundance or afraid of your, of you <laughs> or something. Or afraid of what you're about to create. I don't know. Spirit, tell me more. said you need to hear okay we got solar plexus chakra we have intuition here someone here could be 32 i keep getting this age someone here could be 32 okay someone here could be 42 43 41 someone here feels guilty for how they treated you or for not believing in you or for trying to tear you down okay it says i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth so some of you did a lot of work, a lot of the inner work here, took the time. You could now be in this like emperor energy here where you're in control of your environment, you, yourself, your emotions, okay? Yeah, whoever you are, you're very tapped in. We have awareness here. I'm also getting like other people are aware of this as well, even your ops. It's what I'm getting. I feel like though, it took a while for you to get to this place because... Um, growing up, there could have been a lot of people that were always trying to, like, um, tear you down, belittle you or something. Like, it's almost like whenever someone else saw that you were happy, um, they tried to, like, bring it down or try to humble you. And that could have done something to your self-esteem or could have done something to, like, make you feel like you're not capable of something. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear? Okay, this is creepy. Okay, now all of these, okay, these numbers could be switched around because I have the number three, two, four, and one here. So we could have, this could be 1234. Something is happening in divine timing. Okay, and then it's one, two, three, four. Something's ever, everything is falling into place right now. Or something has fallen into place since last week. Something changed last week. Yeah, someone was trying to uh, say that you're, you're not credible. Or you don't have any credibility. Or you were feeling like you were incapable of something. But you could now be discovering that like you're protected. Okay. Maybe you were afraid of something here. I'm also getting like someone's afraid of you because they know that you know that they were planning something okay yeah something here is going to be returning to you you can feel this in your bones you know something good is coming your way Rem remember to stay away from these people okay because i feel like they're gonna person or people are gonna try to come back and say something to you or Try to get into your energy, okay? They want to get involved in your life. Yeah, there was someone here that was very entitled. They felt entitled to you. Let's see, what is this spirit? Yeah, th whoever whoever thought that they have power over you don't. They don't have power. This person now is gonna. This person now is feeling powerless now that you are stepping in your power, okay? This could be someone who's very karmic in your life. This could be a karmic connection you were in. Okay, this could have been a friend. Someone here that was territorial, or this could have been a sibling. Place where it needs to go. Or someone here that you went for advice a lot to. Something. Why do we have this? I'm also getting, there's like an unavoidable um, tower moment. Tell me more. 
Yeah, someone wants you to forgive them. Will you forgive me? But you're aware of why this person wants your forgiveness, okay? They just want to come in and backstab you. It's a red flag. This person is a red flag. Yeah, because you knew somebody, not for all y'all, but for some of you, you could have known that this person just wanted you off this planet for some sort of resources here. This could have been somebody's mother with this uh, bear here and getting like mama bear, or you could be a mother. Place where it needs to go. Or somebody here, you're aware that somebody here was trying to, trying their best to end your resources or take away some sort of assets from you, or end your position. This could even be at work. You could be a manager or something. Maybe somebody was trying to like uh, gun for your spot or whatever. They could have been trying to like turn other people against you by saying like you're bossy or that, you know, I don't know, saying something negative. Yeah, somebody here wanted to put you in danger, but I'm also getting like this person knows that they're in danger now. They're in the zone, danger zone. Why do we have this spirit? There's a lot of, there's a lot of songs in this reading. Um, I could be talking to a musician or you connect really well with music. Yeah, someone here is crying because of the guilt that they feel. I'm also getting like somebody's crying now because your life has transitioned or there could there could have been a death okay um but someone's upset because you're successful or that you're about to get into a successful relationship and the reason this is happening is because you you got disciplined with yourself and that's why your life is changing because you you made wise decisions and that's why this passionate new beginning is coming and at the same time, someone is getting judgment, okay? This is affecting someone's ego. Your passion, new beginning, your success is uh, affecting someone's, it's now affecting their self-esteem, okay, is what I'm getting. Gosh, yeah. Tell me more. Remember, this could be your best friend. This could be a uh, your family member, a sibling, okay, a, a co-worker, place that we need to go, a boss even, okay? Yeah, someone here wants to send you some sort of message. Or there's something about a death that was not made aware of you, made aware to you and there someone is not going to tell you. Maybe there is a deadline that someone had. Maybe that deadline was about a week ago <laughs> and now this person wants to come in and tell you it but someone here yeah it's because someone here was trying to make something really difficult for you to get this yeah someone was creating or casting a lot of illusions when it comes to this this could have to do with some sort of false marriage for some of y'all that you could be involved in that you're not maybe you're going to become aware of this tell me more and someone could be um going to jail for this and that's another reason why they're crying. Maybe they got a letter. They could have got, um, what's it called? They could have got a letter in the mail saying that they have to show up to court for something. Okay, so there's someone here that's going to, like, ask you to do something. You're probably going to say no, okay? Or you need to say no to this person, okay? Or this person knows that if they come in and ask you for, like, forgiveness or money or whatever this is, they know that the answer is no, yeah, what was I saying? This, this person is getting readings on you. They're getting reading on you. Readings on you. Why is it hard for me to talk? Okay, let's get our big birth. Should I? Let me see. What else is going on, Spirit? What else can you tell us? Yeah, somebody was hoping that you were never going to find out about something. I'm also getting like now this person's sad for all the things that they were wishing upon you. Somebody was confused though. Somehow. So something. I don't know. Spirit. Tell me more. 
What's going on here? Damn. Okay. Yeah, someone here was trying to like, I don't know, something about a revolution. What the heck is going on? Someone's going mad. Let me see what this is, because I kind of think I know what this is. Someone here could have been trying to uh, frame you for a death. That's not for everybody, okay? Or trying to, like, blame you for something that ended in their life, but this is just karma that's happening. Why do we have this? Yeah. Someone went crazy just for money. Or someone did all this craziness for money, for finances, for wealth. Somebody wants to strip you from your um from your divinity. Someone no longer wants you to have some sort of honor cuz these were in reverse. I'm also getting if this was someone who was had some level of honor or divinity, they're losing it because whatever they did to you or whatever they said about you it didn't work. Like, it was like, um, whatever benefit that they received from it, it was short, short-lived. Whoever I'm talking to, you're someone who's very real, authentic, okay? You could be someone who's very original. And someone here could be trying, or was trying to confuse others about this, about who you are as a person. What is this? This could have been a, a masculine energy. Don't have to be. But someone here is about to get um, exposed for something. For creating some sort of unnecessary drama. This person could be someone who ten who's violent. Or abusive in some way. Somebody wants to come in and fight with you. Or this is the same person. This is the same person who is, who's violent and wants to fight. This person wants to come towards you and ask for forgiveness. To clean something up. Or to clear something up. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you. I'm also getting like somebody here relapsed. Someone relapsed. On a... On whatever substance this is. What do we have this? We have rebellion. What do we have? 33. Someone here could be 33, 39, 42, or 40. Rebellion. Someone's upset because, okay, there was someone here that, like, wanted you to do something and you refused to do it. Okay, this could be just as simple as someone asking you to go on a date and you said no. Okay? Or sleeping with them. If this person wanted you to sleep with them and you said no. Put, flip this where this needs to go because women do this too, okay? But this person got upset because maybe this is someone that normally doesn't get told no. This is someone who who always gets told yes or always gets their way. Someone felt that like they were entitled to you in some form or fashion. Whoever this person is, they're a vampire is what I'm getting here. However, you rejected this person. And it doesn't have to be romantic. This person felt like they it they had the right to try to like either use black magic on you or or negatively have people see you or to have people negatively see you um in the community okay or gathered a group together or maybe you're finding out this person's part of some sort of vampiric group that's not for everyone okay someone here has secrets or someone here decided to like go ahead and tell everyone your secrets or something thinking it's gonna hurt you i'm annoyed the bottom of the deck we have fox or this is what this person is planning on doing when they come towards you they're planning on blackmailing you i keep getting this energy of blackmailing but it's because this person knows you're on the edge of glory you're on the edge of greatness and it's, it's driving this person mad 
okay? This person might even want your soul to be released from your body because of it. That's not for everyone. That's for some of y'all, okay? Child, listen. Please use your intuition. Please be aware of your surroundings and be aware of the energy that people people are giving off to you. If it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. If you have to question, if you have to question it, it probably isn't. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What's going on here? What is going on here for my Saggies? I'm also getting like someone just wants to come in and repeat what they did last time. Like this person might come in and be like, oh, like acting like they really want to make an effort on working um, on a relationship. But I don't think this person does. I think this person's just thinking about sex. Tell me more. We have <laughs> taking you for granted. Someone here was taking you for granted. Sorry, I laughed because I was hearing another song. Um, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me, okay? I don't know what that's about. Someone here could be born in the 80s. Um, we have you are stronger than you thought. Someone here lied on you to everybody. Something about 3 a.m. is significant. You guys can be waking up at 3 a.m. Something about 3 a.m. Or this person's now being tortured at 3 a.m. Okay? Because they lied on you. Spirit, tell me more. See how this this card, New World, the New World Order card, like, flipped up? Something's going to change big, big time. Something's going to change big. In a big way. Soon. Look at you, Sag. You could be the leader of this change. Tell me more. Dang. Ooh, shoot. Somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with an S. Yours or theirs. Um, someone may want to delete themselves because of some sort of truth that's going to be coming out soon. Or because of the guilt that they have. Okay? Tell me more. For putting you through whatever they put you through. This could have been a brother of yours. Okay, or something about your brother is very significant in the situation. Okay, uh, maybe your brother knows about some sort of abundance. Maybe they wanted to tell you a week ago, but they were too uh, chicken shit to tell you or whatever this is. Tell me more. Dang. Okay, shit's about to hit the fan, like for real. Okay, someone here is about to go broke. Okay, or you're, or you're broke, I don't know. Maybe you need money. Maybe somebody here was using you for money, taking you uh, taking you for granted when it came to finances. We have uh, maybe. Someone here feels like, I don't know. We have jealous parent. Something about a jealous parent is involved in your situation and blackmail. What the hell is going on? Spirit telling me Okay, with this maybe out here, it's almost like someone was doubting how strong you truly are, or how much you can, tr uh, how much you could truly um, persevere. Okay. I'm also getting like you were questioning like if these people around you truly were, really had your best interests in mind because you would you're like but they're my family like you'd be like yeah but that's my mom, but that's my father. But that's my brother, but that's my sister. like, Or that's my best friend since fifth grade or something. I don't know. How could they do this to me? Something like that. Tell me more. You're giving people, the wrong people, the benefit of the doubt or something. Just because of the position they play or the role they play in your life. We have trauma bonding. Someone wants to come in and trauma bond with you. Somebody wants to be cool again with you. Okay. Your father knows something. Spirit. child listen <laughs> something about this could be significant something about your fake twin flame is involved in this situation okay your fake twin flame that you probably said adios goodbye to could have been doing voodoo on you but at the same time telling everybody else that you were doing voodoo on them Hold on. Okay. 
Oh, I can't be on here for too long. Spirit, tell me more. What else do my Sagis need to hear? Someone here could have illegally copied your keys to your car. Or illegally stole something from you in general, okay? Or illegally got access to something that they shouldn't have gotten access to, okay? This could have been a bank account. This could have been a security box that was left in your name. It could, it, this could be a lot of things, okay? This is a jealous parent that did this or somebody's somebody whose first initial is first or middle or last initial is S. We have a hitman is still watching you for so for so, for some of you there's someone here that is still has an eye on you. Samson. Someone's name could be Sam, don't have to be. Okay? Or something about someone's son. You might find out that somebody here is going to be dying of uh, some sort of disease here because they were planning to do something to you. There's some sort of corrupt lawyers that are involved in this situation or people who are in positions of power, okay, are going to be losing power here. They felt like they were entitled to overdo their power because of their powerful position, okay? They thought they were going to get away with it. I feel like these people are not, these people are about to get caught up or they got caught up a week ago. Tell me more. Yeah, whoever you're dealing with is someone who's a very cold person, okay? This is your twin flame. This is the vibe of your twin flame. If your twin flame comes towards you, okay, this person is going to either get some sort of parking ticket or a moving violation if they're, like, traveling towards you or they're gonna, something is going to happen to them if they try to come near you, okay? Okay, we have earth sign. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Or your one of your parents is an earth sign. We have evil eye. All right. There's a hitman here that's given you the evil eye. Okay, maybe because like the everything this person tries to do to you to try to take you out, it don't work. Okay, you're untouchable. We have. If it ain't six feet, it ain't that deep. By Cal Scrubby, someone here is throwing an adult tantrum. Or they're going to come to you and if you turn them away, they're going to they're going to throw an adult tantrum. OK, they're going to make a scene. OK, we have family feud. This could be your family. All right. Your family and your fake twin flame were thought that they had this in the bag. OK, they thought they could work together and take you out somehow. OK, or or humble you in a, in some way or to ruin your happiness, okay? We have, I hate you because you're prettier than me. So someone doesn't like you because of the way you look, okay? You trigger their insecurities. You could be someone who's very handsome or someone who's very beautiful or someone here who just has confidence or someone who has the confidence enough to be the, their true authentic self. And these people may not do that. They don't know how to do that it's because they're still in their south node okay is what i'm getting here we have warning this is a test someone here is going to test you so you need to be careful all right we have the feds already know so the feds already know about this situation they already know that this person is trying to like come after you or do something with this gun child tell me more we have inside job with a security guard. So something about a security card outside of a building knows something already or was involved in something. We got Hawk. You're being watched at all times. We got CPS, okay? Something about child protective services is out here. Maybe your own jealous parent called CPS on you. You might find that out, okay? Once again, this is happening. Tell me more. Something about someone's birthday is off on a document. Somebody's birthday on their document is wrong. We have a fake birth certificate. Someone could, someone's birth certificate, your birthday is not real on there or something. That's for some of y'all, not all y'all. We have life-threatening illness. What was I saying? Somebody in your family is going to be getting some sort of life-threatening illness or your fake twin flame has one or this false person, whoever this false person is. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. Okay, someone's going to plan to run away. Maybe someone's going to plan to move overseas or travel or something. This person's going to get caught. Somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with an E. 
or a C. Something about child abuse is significant. Maybe someone was falsely accusing you of this, or this is what happened. Something about child abuse. Maybe your, your parents abused you as a child. Okay. Okay, we got Capricorn. I'm just gonna leave that there. Ooh, and then this fell out. We got convicted. Someone's getting convicted of child abuse. This could be a Capricorn. Or someone who's just devilish in general. Okay. Play more. Yeah, someone something about someone's immune system is is messed up right now. Okay, we have shy. Yeah, since you're shy or you have a shy demeanor, someone thought that, like, you weren't strong. Someone's going to come up with some sort of fake apology, okay? So just be aware of this. Yeah, be aware because this person's not sorry. They're jealous of you, okay? And they're having money issues. This person's going to come in and say, like, they, they're going to act like they love you. They don't love you. You need to know that you are lovable, but don't accept this fake love from this person. All their, They just need money. They just need money. Okay, Sag, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? How do these motherfuckers feel? These people are furious because um, whatever they try to do don't work. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, they could owe you money or someone money here. Okay, maybe this hitman money. Maybe this hitman wants their money. Place it where it needs to go. That's not for everybody. Okay. Or maybe uh, this hitman could be a spiritual hitman. So someone could have um, paid like a voodoo person. And maybe whatever the voodoo man couldn't do what he was paid to do. So maybe your family or your fake twin flame is asking for the money back. Um, we have smart. Okay. You're someone here who's very intelligent. Okay. Someone feels really foolish for sleeping on you. Or for not believing in you. Something like that is significant. Also, there's someone else here that is going to be enlightened about this situation. What else, Spirit? We have this hater knows that you're about to become abundant and it drives them crazy. What was I saying? This is what this whole reading is about, okay? We have, they've been making moves on your lover to piss you off. So something weird like that. Maybe one of your family members is trying to get with your <laughs> your ex or your person. Place it where it needs to go. We have, they are totally playing the victim when they start to lose. So these people are starting to lose. The feds know about what's going on. They're getting karma. And now they're playing the victim trying to, trying to blame you again about something. Everything's your fault, Sag, in their eyes. Tell me more. This hater is known to be a homewrecker, so you got a salute around you. Or someone was saying, spreading that rumor to everybody, like you're a homewrecker or something. Or someone here was trying their best to break a relationship up, and they did successfully. Um, but I feel like, I don't know, something like that is significant. Someone getting karma for that. We have this person is your ex, so you got your ex out here being weird. Okay. We have this hater is always boasting about themselves. Hashtag conceited. So this person is, that's sad. This could be a Leo. Tell me more, spirit. We have this hater mocks you behind their back to other people. That's all we need to know. And someone here is still mad about some old drama that happened in the past. They can't get over it. So this is someone here who's holding like a grudge against you. What it is, what it is. What else do they need to know sorry, about the situation? Sorry, I keep checking the time. One more. Yeah. Someone might ghost you soon because they know that you know something. Okay, someone here is going to be acting real extra. Or the fact that you don't communicate with this person anymore. They could be acting real like dramatic. I'm also getting like someone here might uh, say that you're like put in a missing persons report on you because you're not communicating to them because you ghosted them. 
this person is just being dramatic. They know where you're at. They're just being weird. Okay, you could be someone who's an entrepreneur. Ooh, and you're somebody here who keeps it 100, all right, with yourself and with others, okay? Someone here still believes that you guys have a chance to be together, okay? But this person's really struggling financially is what I'm getting. Or you could be struggling financially. Place it where it needs to go. Someone here is about to go viral. There's a message that's going around quickly. Becoming instantly famous, popular, network, lucky break. Someone here is about to get a lucky break. You're about to get a lucky break, Sag. Someone is hearing about this. So there's an ex out here that has heard about this or a family member. They're losing the gap dang mind. Tell me more, Spirit. They're trying their best to stop this somehow. Okay. Listen. What the heck is this? I'm getting something about stay on budget. Okay. Yeah. You about to uh, make a comeback here. And someone here acting ratchet as hell. This is someone who's a basic bitch. Whoever's being ratchet, calling you out your name, whatever. They're just, they're basic. They're not, they're unoriginal. They're cookie cutter. They don't, this is someone that doesn't have personality or something. Okay. Gosh dang, Sadie. I don't know why I'm getting the word savage. You could be acting like a savage or someone could be saying that you're going savage on them or uh, you're, you're heartless or something because you don't want to deal with them. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What the heck? This always happens, okay? We have let go for not forever. Or let let go for now, not forever. Someone's waiting for you. Someone really does hope you guys have a chance. Someone just... there In somebody's mind, they think you guys are just on a break. Okay? That's what they think. You could be thinking like, no, it's done, it's over. This person thinks like, you're just playing. This per okay, this person says, I can't, I can't take being away from you anymore. We have, I'm trying to gain the strength to come towards you. So yeah, this person's scared, okay? They're probably scared of what they, for you to find out what they was saying about you, okay? You're probably gonna find that out. It says, you have never hurt me even though all I've done is hurt you. Child, listen. Someone is realizing why they gain karma. Somebody's realizing. They feel guilty as hell. Child. Hey, whatever. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hurt? What am I sad you need to hear? We have take action. It says, no more procrastinating. Because you are well planned, well prepared, and therefore ready to make a move for now. So, tell me more. We have don't take this for granted. It says maybe there shall be a leave someday if you are not paying any attention and noticing how things are serving you or bow heartful this person is to you at the moment. What the heck? Okay, so basically, yeah, don't take this for granted. You might be meeting someone new. Don't take them for granted. Or this is just the lesson this person, this is a lesson that you taught this person or people about not taking people for granted or opportunities for granted or positions of high authority for granted. We have 33. You could be seeing this number, 33. We have... This is a sign of a highly vibrating transformation. You now have the courage to work out your creativity and self-expression with no doubts. So you're about to fully feel, like you're gonna feel it in your bones, okay? You're gonna feel it in your bones, like, that you're out of this world or something. We have firstly, firstly love yourself, says your existence is a beautiful blessing know how to deeply be in love with your own self you have a place to belong okay people to vibe with and will finally blossom to your best version okay the way the words is worded on these cards <laughs> i can't love yourself first okay or this person that's coming in to try to offer you some fake love 
okay? They need to learn to love themselves first, okay? Okay. What kind of good things can they expect here? Yeah, we got advice from a friend. Anymore. Something about your best friend. Best friend. Someone here could have gotten negative advice on whether to be with you or not from a toxic friend. Okay, we have family members. So, or family members. Damn. We have woman. This could have been a woman in someone's family. That ain't shit. We got dealings or relationships with a woman. Or they were asking about what they should do about some sort of relationship with a woman here. They were asking their friends and their family. And they, their friends and their family uh, stirred them wrong. Okay, we have... Um, or this is what this person's going to come in and tell you about. Okay, they're going to say that they're sorry, blah, blah, blah. This could be true. I don't know. We got... Um, this person could be truly, like, regretful. Okay, but place where it needs to go. We have opportunities are waiting for you. You got you got a lot of options for you. Okay. And then we have fire. It says strong emotion, passionate, love, or hate. So you need to know you're going to be offered some sort of new opportunity. Or your life is about to level up. But just remember that um, the people around you that they say that they love you, they could easily turn in. It, that could easily turn into hate. Okay, so just be mindful of that. I'm also getting like, someone's jealous of this opportunities that are coming for you. We have someone is leaving your life. Chair, chair empty. So someone here might pass away is also what I'm getting in the next week. Like someone else will leave and someone else is going to come in. We have ear, good news. And then we have chair filled. It says someone new is entering your life. So someone has to leave so someone else can come through. Someone here could be born in the month of November. Or this is something that you can expect in the month of November. Okay. What time is it? What else do they need to hear, spirit? So we can bounce. What else do my sadies need to hear regarding this situation? We have prioritize. It says, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. So it's time for you to take action. Get prioritized with your goals, what you're trying to manifest here. Okay, it's time to focus on you. Okay, tell me more. What else do my sadies need to hear? We have hello from... Can't talk. Hello from heaven. It says, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So, I've been getting this energy for like the past couple days. Okay? A lot of people's passed over loved ones are like watching over them heavily. Okay? And giving y'all reminders that they love you or that they're here with you okay so if you're experiencing any like um weird paranormal things okay that could be one of your ancestors or one of your passed over loved ones letting you know like hey i'm here you're not alone i see what's going on kind of thing okay we have counselor it says you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance So your words give comfort to people you are needed in this world. We have victory. It says your prayers have been heard and answered. Have have faith. Some some coming through. And you need to know that you are safe. Okay. It says I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. This is Archangel Michael. He's protecting you. Okay, there's no need for you to get scarred. All right, Saggy. This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It really does help out this channel. If you're interested, <laughs> if you're interested in a personal reading, please check my description box below for Linda Likes Tarot at gmail.com. Till next time.
I love you. Bye.